Hey guys, it's Catherine and Rachel and this week's theme on 7 Supergirls is Freestyle. So what we're doing for you today is trying a bunch of weird foods that we haven't had before from different places and we're going to rate them on a scale of 1 to 10 based on how much we like them. Let's get started. First we're going to try all of these bacon things from the United States of America. So first we're going to try the bacon candy. So apparently right there supposedly where the candy comes from. It looks like a regular candy, but it smells like a dog treat. On the count of three. One, two, three. I think it's sweet, but then it has like a little bit of a meat taste, but I thought it'd be worse. I'm gonna give it a five out of 10. Same with me. Bacon frosty. Wow, neat. Delicious. <laughs> this actually tastes good. I like, this doesn't even taste like bacon, it tastes like sugar. It smells bad, tastes good. I'm gonna give it a s 4 out of 10. I'll give it a 6. I just don't like the lack of bacon taste if it's called bacon frosting. I think it should taste a little bit like bacon. <laughs> These are bacon mints and they smell so bad. <laughs> so bad. Right as you open them, there's a very strong smell and they look like just your average everyday mints, but you're not fooling anyone because these smell so bad. Mm -hmm. Like, no, everyone knows those are not regular, so we're gonna try one, see if it freshens up our breath. Wait, one second. It just tastes like a regular mint, but a little bit like meat, and it smells really bad. I don't like this. I'm gonna give it like a two out of 10. Same. Refreshing. Bacon gumballs. The only kind of gum you need. Everyone at school is gonna want some of your gum when you have these delicious looking things. Just look at that color. It definitely tastes like bacon. I actually like this one. I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. I'll give it a 6. From the exotic land of Idaho, we have an Idaho spud. Organic. If it's better than the bacon stuff, then I'll be happy. What? Um, That's not what I was expecting. I thought it'd be like covered in peanuts, but it has like coconut. Okay, I'm gonna break off some. Ooh! Well, that that actually, stuff in the middle? That actually kind of looks... Alright, that actually looks kind of good. Yeah, that might be good. Okay. Uh, Ooh. One, two, three. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna give it a 7.5 out of 10. Giving it? An eight and a half. Marmite from England. It's kind of like Vegemite, but I don't know if it's different. If anyone's from Australia or England, tell me if Marmite and Vegemite are different, because then we will know that. What is even Vegemite? You put it on your toast. We got our toast on the count of three. One, two, three. Zero. Zero. That was like, how do people eat that? I'm confused because that just tastes like pure bitter salt and grossness. Mm -hmm. No, thank you. I. We're seeing if England can redeem itself with these Jaffa cakes, and they are just like chocolate and orange cakes. So, let's see if they're good. <gasps> out of 10. 9 out of 10. Next we're going to be trying Tim Tams and they're from Australia and they say that they're the most irresistible chocolate biscuit. We'll be the judge of that. Mmm. Very irresistible. I'm giving it a 10. I think this is a Twix just with more chocolate. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. So these we believe are called Topkus and they're from Germany and we're not sure what they are but they look like chocolates so that's good. You can never be too sure. We're gonna try one of each. Milk chocolate. White chocolate. Mm. Dark chocolate. Ooh, mysterious. Mm. 
So my favorite was the milk chocolate. And mine was the dark chocolate. And we both didn't really like the white chocolate. Overall, I would give this an 8 out of 10. And I give it a 9. This is our last one we're trying, and it looks really interesting. This is Japanese-style red bean mochi. Well, this has the weirdest texture ever. It's like dough, and it looks it's like dough. It's very interesting. Maybe it'll taste like dough. Too powdery. I can't, like, taste anything. It's like not enough flavor, but at the same time, the flavor is gross. One out of ten. Yeah, one out of ten. Well, we had a little bit of fun today. We got to try lots of new things. Cheers to Tim Tams. Good job, Australia. We'll see you guys next week. Bye!